Hey everybody, welcome back. So, uh, I've been wanting to make this video for a while. Lately, I have been falling in love with a couple of websites that are out there. And, um, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how I'm using Options Gamma and a couple of websites in particular to really crush the markets. And, um, you know, in order to... Uh, you, you hear it all the time, right? How many guys have you, have any, aren't you guys sick of seeing YouTube videos that say trade like a professional, right? Or professional traders, professionals, blah, blah, blah. It, it drives me crazy because, you know, I was a professional in this industry. I was a stockbroker. I was also a floor trader. I also worked as um, a consultant to a few institutions. And I've worked as a prop trader at some of the largest prop trading firms. Now, even myself in those positions, I was not a professional. And just bear with me in this video because we're going to get into some really good stuff. But just bear with me. <clears throat> a professional trader, and I want to make this very, very, very clear. I'm going to type it out just so everybody sees it. Okay, so... I want to make this clear. Get this through your head. I've been trading for 30 years, but I've never been a professional trader. Do you know why? Because a professional trader is a trader that gets paid a salary and usually a bonus based upon performance. Now, why do you need to make that distinction? Why do you need to make that distinction? Because a professional trader is a guy that works for a very large company, usually a clearing firm, usually a brokerage house, usually an investment bank, usually a large hedge fund, and he gets paid a salary to trade, right? And usually those traders are the guys that are throwing around the biggest amounts of money. Let me repeat that. Those are the traders that are throwing around the biggest amounts of money, and those are the traders that are moving the markets, okay? Those are the guys that make prices move, all right? So whenever you hear another video, trade like the professionals, unless it's a guy that is getting a salary by a large investment bank or the like, just chuck that video away because it's complete and utter bullshit. And everybody else doesn't know what the hell they're talking about. Because when you get a salary and you work for a large investment bank, etc., you go through a training process that in some cases can take months to years. Because you're managing tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars, right? So when you hear people on YouTube saying, trade like the professionals, forget about it. So that being said, this video is going to be titled trade like a professional except there's going to be a difference with what I am going to teach you because I'm going to teach you what the actual professionals are doing <laughs> okay not me being a professional but by teaching you what the actual professionals are doing okay so sorry for the three minute rant on that, but hopefully you lasted this long because it'll be worth it. Now, in order to know what the professionals are doing, you have to understand their business models. Now, one of the groups of professionals in this industry are the market makers, and in particular, the options market makers, all right? Options market makers. Now, why are they very, very critical? Anytime you buy an options contract, that you, you don't buy it from another guy. So in other words, when you go to buy calls, you buy it from the market maker. When you go to, when you go to sell calls, the market maker sells it to you. So unlike the stock market where the... Um, where you can buy, I can I can buy a thousand shares of Apple and it can be paired up through the broker with Bob Smith options aren't like that options all options contracts go through an options market maker which means that the options market makers 
are the professionals in the industry because they work for very large firms to make a market inside those options contracts, okay? So really, really key that we understand what the options market makers in particular are doing because they are one of the most important professionals to really watch in this industry. Does that make sense? Five minutes already and I've already gone on a big rant. But it's important to understand that. Okay, so this website, Trading Volatility, I'm not an affiliate in any way, shape, or form. I don't even have an affiliate to link uh, to give you is absolutely brilliant. This is probably one of the best trading websites in the entire world because what it does is it takes all the market um, data and it compiles it into a nice easy viewable um, process that we can look at here and in particular there's a couple of things that we really want to look at which is gamma all right and I don't have a I don't have the time right now to go into a very long definition of what gamma actually is and how it's calculated but I'm going to tell you its significance and its significance to the professionals inside the markets in particular the options market making professionals so when I call this video trade like a professional we're going to be looking at the options markets through the eyes of the professional in order to make better decisions based upon what the professional is actually thinking and feeling and doing. Okay? So uh, if we take a stock like Starbucks, and I'm going to show you how I use this. So Starbucks had a nice rally 1.38% on Friday. Now, let's say for whatever reason, and I have reasons to believe, Okay, you have your own reasons. I'm not going to show you that, not going to share that in this video. But I believe that this is a good level for me to take a short on Starbucks. It's also a very good level that I could possibly, we could possibly uh, make a new high. So it's a very significant level to me on Starbucks. So I really want to understand what the options market maker is doing at this level on Starbucks. Now, I personally think it's going to be a short, but I'm prepared for it to squeeze the new highs. Okay, both could happen. Now, so in order to understand what the dynamic is of what might happen, I need to look at what the professional is doing, and in particular, the options market professional on Starbucks. So let's go over to this website, Trading Volatility, and let's punch in SBUX, and let's look at some data here, okay? Now, the most important data that we want to look at is the gamma for all open interests by strike. Now, I'm going to give you a very short explanation, and a lot of you might be looking at this key thing about what is gamma, why is gamma important. Gamma, and I'm going to put the simplest way for you, the very, very simplest way. Gamma is the risk that the market maker has. Let me repeat that and let that sink in. Gamma is the risk that the market maker has. Because when you buy a bunch of calls on Starbucks at 115 strikes, who writes those calls? Bob Smith? No, the market maker. Remember that? So right now, Bob, the, the market maker, has a ton of calls written at 150, 115, forgive me. We can look at the open interest here. And we can see there is the 115. Now you can see there's more calls at 114. And there's more calls at 116. But 115 is a significant level. Because that is the level where the cost of writing those calls starts to impose gamma risk on the market maker. Okay? So you can see there's the 114s, there's the 115s. So what that means is that when, when you went and bought the 115 calls, the market maker wrote those calls. Now, what happened when you bought those calls is he hedged that to a 50% delta. But that leaves him exposed 
to upside movement. So if the stock moves higher, this market maker is exposed at this call, on these calls that he wrote you. And he doesn't want to lose money. Remember, these calls don't expire until 0709, which is another week from now. So he's got those calls written, and so he's incentivized, the professional is incentivized to keep the market below 115. Do you understand that? This video is how to trade like the professionals. Well, you have to know what the professional is thinking. So right now, the market maker has a big incentivization to keep these calls worthless. In other words, he wants to keep that price be below 115. That's what the professional wants to do. Now, if that price exceeds 116, 117, 118, in order to hedge that risk, the market maker is going to have to buy more stock. Do you understand that? And that's really, really important to understand because if he has to buy more stock, what is that going to do to the price of Starbucks? It's going to drive it higher. So right now, I believe that the market maker is exposed at 115, 116 strikes, 114 strikes. And I also believe that this is a big technical level and that I do believe that the market is going to turn down here. That is the path of least resistance because the professionals, and in particular the options market makers, rarely lose money. The public is the one that loses money. You've heard it said before that 80% of options expire worthless. Well, that's because the options market maker is incentivized to make sure that they expire worthless. Okay? Now, so right now you could structure two trades. You could structure a trade short that the market maker is not going to get squeezed. And we can look at and see, okay, well, where is, the, where is he exposed on the put side? Well, he's exposed at 112 and 110. So ideally, ideally for the market maker to make the most amount of money, the stock has to close between 115 and 110 between now and next week. That is where he'll make the most amount of money. Now keep in mind, he can't control the market, but he, to a, to a certain degree, he can control the market because he can make those calls more expensive or less expensive. Does that make sense? He controls the spreads. So, the probability that this is going to close somewhere between 115 and 110 is really super high next week. Super high. Now, of course, anything can happen. Starbucks could come out and say they found a cure for cancer. Um, they're, they've uh, they they found a, a that cough drinking coffee um, you know reduces COVID anything can happen right but it's good to know these levels because if we start to go higher we can now calculate that the market maker is going to need to hedge that position which could put a squeeze on Starbucks up to 118. Right? So there's a couple of ways, you know, some little bells should be going off in your head right now. There's a couple of ways that I would structure this trade. First of all, I would probably look at the cost of the calls and say, okay, the cost of the calls between 114 and 110, or puts, sorry, puts, 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 see what those costs of those calls are right now. And here's the chain on Starbucks and we can see the at the money 115 puts well that's a pretty good price isn't it a dollar a dollar we could pick those up Monday morning and if the market maker is successful he'll probably drive price away from here 
somewhere in the middle, which would be 112, 112 and a half. Because he, he doesn't want it to drop lower than 110 because he'll lose money on the puts that he's written. And he doesn't want it to go higher than 115 because he'll lose money on the calls that he's written. So 112 and a half, right? So that will cost you a dollar on Monday morning if you want to pick those up. Probably a little cheaper because of time decay, Tuesday. So there's only four days, so they'll probably be about 75 cents. And if it does drive it down, if it does drive it down, then you'll double your money on that. Okay, that's, a, that's a great little trade right there, all using what the professionals are doing. Okay? Unlike every other fucking video out there, excuse my language, because it just drives me crazy when I see these videos trade like a professional. It's not based upon any thing that people understand what the actual professionals do and how they do it, because they're just not qualified to, under, to teach it because they don't know. They've never worked as a professional, so how the hell can they? Okay, now the other trade that I would look at is I might also look at picking up some very, very cheap uh, out of the money calls uh, in case you get a delta squeeze to the, or sorry, a gamma squeeze to the upside, right? So I might look at some really cheap calls. So those are going to cost me 80 cents and I might just pick up some really, really cheap uh, calls maybe like some 117s for 20 cents as a hedge so the total cost is going to cost me a dollar if it drops down to 12 and a half then i make money on i make money on both sides even with that hedge if we get a gamma squeeze that squeeze is going to take it up and these will double in value okay how to trade like the professionals how to trade like the professionals taught by somebody that actually understands what the professionals do. Love you all. Bye for now.